Avi Loeb just released new data about the 3i atlas that has physicists completely stumped. We're now looking at the 12th impossible anomaly of this mysterious interstellar object, and this one might be the most mind-bending yet. Between July and August, seven different telescopes all measured the same thing about the 3i atlas. This object completes one full rotation every 16.16 hours. We measured this multiple times and got the exact same result every single time, so we know this number is incredibly precise. Avi Loeb calculated exactly how long it takes for gas to travel from the surface of 3i Atlas all the way out to where we see the end of these jets. The answer is approximately one month. During those 30 days of travel time, how many times does 3i Atlas complete a full rotation? Well, if it spins once every 16.16 hours, that's about one and a half rotations per day. Over the course of 30 days, this object completes roughly 45 complete spins. This is where everything we know about physics starts to break down. When an object in space is spinning and releases gas or dust, basic physics tells us that the material should fan outward as the body rotates. The particles continue moving in straight lines while the object keeps turning, creating wide, smeared-out trails that point in different directions. This is exactly what we observe with most rotating comets. But the images of 3i Atlas reveal something very different. Its jets don't behave like natural, expanding plumes, they look more like tightly focused laser beams. Each jet is narrow, sharply defined, and maintains a single direction across nearly a million kilometers of space. If the object truly spins about 45 times while the gas is moving outward, then such crisp, unwavering jets should be physically impossible. The rotation should blur them into spirals, yet it doesn't. There's another curious detail that often gets overlooked. Just days before these sharp jet images were captured, other observations showed 3i Atlas with no visible jets or tail whatsoever. That sudden switch from nothing to perfectly aligned beams raises questions of its own and is unusual for a comet-like object. Still, let's stay focused on the 12th anomaly at hand, which already challenges our understanding of how such bodies should behave. Avi Loeb has proposed several theories to explain this impossible observation, but each one has serious problems. Let me walk you through them and show you why none of them work. Theory number one suggests that maybe the rotation of 3i Atlas slowed down dramatically since we measured it in July and August. If the object barely spins anymore, then the jets wouldn't get smeared out by rotation. The gas could shoot out in straight lines because the object isn't turning much while the gas travels. But this explanation has a fatal flaw. When gas shoots off a comet unevenly, the physics actually makes the comet spin faster, not slower. It's like a figure skater pulling their arms in during a spin. The uneven ejection of mass creates torque that increases rotation speed. Plus, we have images from November 11th showing that 3i Atlas is still intact and behaving normally. There's no evidence that anything catastrophic happened to suddenly change its rotation. Theory number two involves the object's surface features. Maybe the 3i Atlas has deep valleys surrounded by tall mountains, with ice deposits sitting at the bottom of these valleys. As the object rotates, the mountains block sunlight most of the time, keeping the ice frozen, but once per rotation, the sun angle lines up perfectly, and direct sunlight hits the ice for a brief period. The ice rapidly heats up and shoots out gas, then gets shadowed again by the mountains. This would create jets that pulse on and off every 16 hours instead of spraying continuously. It's an elegant idea that could explain why the jets don't get smeared by rotation. But here's the problem with this theory. If jets pulse on and off every 16 hours, and it takes gas one full month to travel outward, then you would see the results of dozens of separate pulses. The jets would look like beads on a string, with gaps between each pulse of gas that was ejected. Instead, our observations show smooth, continuous jets with no gaps or separations. Theory number three suggests that maybe 3i Atlas actually did break apart, and what we're seeing are debris trails rather than gas jets. Debris from a breakup event could travel in straight lines without being affected by the original object's rotation, but we've already confirmed through multiple observations that the object didn't break apart, the nucleus remains intact. So unless there was some kind of systematic error in all of our imaging, this theory fails as well. Each of these natural explanations has been carefully considered by some of the world's leading experts in comet physics, and each one has fundamental problems that make it unlikely to be correct. 
Before we explore the most controversial theory, you need to understand that these unsmeared jets are just the latest in an extraordinary series of anomalies that make 3i Atlas unlike anything we've ever encountered in space. This object has been breaking the rules of physics and probability from the moment we discovered it. Let me walk you through the previous 11 anomalies, because when you see them all together, the pattern becomes absolutely mind-boggling. Anomaly number one is its retrograde orbit. Most objects in our solar system, including comets and asteroids, orbit in the same direction as the planets. But the 3i Atlas is moving backward in what we call a retrograde orbit. That's unusual but not impossible. What makes it truly bizarre is that despite moving backward, its orbital plane aligns almost perfectly with the plane of our solar system's planets. The mathematical probability of this happening by chance is astronomically small. Anomaly number two is something called a sunward jet or anti-tail. Normal comets develop tails that point away from the sun because solar wind pushes the gas and dust outward. But 3i Atlas has a jet pointing directly toward the sun, fighting against the solar wind. This behavior has never been observed in any natural comet. Anomaly number three involves its size and speed. The 3i Atlas is significantly larger and moving much faster than the previous two known interstellar objects, Oumuamua and Borisov. It's as if each interstellar visitor we discover is more extreme than the last. Anomaly number four is perhaps the most statistically improbable. The trajectory of the 3i Atlas was perfectly timed to pass by Mars, Venus, and Jupiter while remaining completely hidden from Earth's view for most of its journey through our solar system. It's like someone planned a tour of our planets while avoiding detection. The odds of this happening by random chance are virtually zero. Anomaly number five concerns its unusual composition. When we analyzed the gas plume using spectroscopy, we found a higher proportion of nickel to iron than is typical for natural comets. The ratio resembles what you'd find in industrial metal alloys rather than pristine solar system materials. Anomaly number six is its extremely low water content. Most comets are essentially dirty snowballs composed primarily of water ice. But the 3i Atlas contains only about 4% water by mass. It's almost completely dry, which makes its ability to produce massive gas jets even more mysterious. Anomaly number seven involves how it scatters light. When sunlight hits 3i Atlas, the light gets polarized in a way that has never been seen in any other comet. It shows what scientists call extreme negative polarization, a property that doesn't match any known natural materials. Anomaly number eight connects to one of the most famous mysteries in astronomy. The 3i Atlas originated from nearly the same direction in the sky as the famous WOW signal detected in 1977. That signal remains the strongest candidate for an extraterrestrial radio transmission ever recorded. The probability of this directional coincidence is extraordinarily low. Anomaly number nine is its unusual brightness behavior. As the 3i Atlas approached the sun, it brightened at a rate much faster than any normal comet should. Even stranger, at certain points it appeared bluer than the sun itself which shouldn't be possible for an object that's simply reflecting sunlight. Anomaly number 10 involves energy calculations. The power output of its jets requires an unrealistically large surface area to collect enough sunlight for sublimation. It's as if the object has access to an energy source beyond what solar heating can provide. Anomaly number 11 is its non-gravitational acceleration. Something is pushing 3i Atlas in addition to gravitational forces yet the object has managed to remain completely intact. Normal comets that experience significant non-gravitational forces typically break apart or show signs of structural damage. And now we have anomaly number 12, these impossibly straight jets that maintain their direction despite 45 rotations. Every single time scientists have found what seemed like a reasonable natural explanation for one anomaly, the next observation has completely invalidated that explanation. First, researchers thought it was a normal comet, but then the data showed almost no water content. Maybe it's a dry comet then, but the light polarization came back completely wrong. So perhaps it's an asteroid, but asteroids don't produce gas jets millions of kilometers long. This brings us to Avi Loeb's fourth and most controversial theory. What if these jets aren't ice melting at all? What if they're actually technological thrusters? When a spacecraft needs to fire thrusters for navigation or course correction, those thrusters are programmed to point in specific directions relative to space itself, not relative to the spacecraft's current orientation. 
Even if the spacecraft is tumbling or rotating, the thruster system maintains what engineers call global orientation awareness. The spacecraft's computer knows which way is up and which way is down relative to its intended trajectory through space. It knows where it's trying to go and what direction it needs to push to get there. So even if the physical spacecraft body is spinning, the thruster system fires at precisely the right moments to ensure that the overall thrust vectors remain constant and pointed in the correct directions. This is exactly what we would need to explain the 3 i Atlas observations. If this object has some kind of propulsion system that would completely explain why the jets stay pointed in fixed directions despite the object rotating 45 times, the thruster system would activate at the right moments during each rotation to maintain consistent thrust directions relative to space. It would be like having a spinning spacecraft that fires its thrusters only when it's oriented correctly, creating the illusion of steady straight exhaust plumes even though the spacecraft itself is tumbling. This technological hypothesis also explains several other anomalies simultaneously. The sunward jet makes perfect sense if it's a thruster designed to slow the object down or adjust its trajectory. The unusual energy output becomes explainable if there's an internal power source, rather than reliance on solar heating. The perfect timing of planetary flybys could indicate intentional navigation rather than cosmic coincidence. The metallic composition starts to make sense if we're looking at manufactured materials rather than natural space debris. Even the extreme light polarization could result from artificial surfaces with properties unlike anything formed by natural processes. We're currently using advanced spectrographs to determine exactly what materials are inside those jets and precisely how fast they're moving. This data will be the smoking gun that either supports or destroys the various theories. If the measurements come back showing water vapor and carbon dioxide moving at speeds consistent with solar heating, around 1,400 kilometers per hour, then maybe there's some natural explanation that nobody has thought of yet. Perhaps there's some exotic physics happening with ancient interstellar ice that we've never encountered before, simply because we've never had the opportunity to study an object this old from outside our solar system. But if those spectroscopic measurements come back showing something unexpected, if the gas composition doesn't match what solar heating should produce, or if the velocities are wrong, or if the total mass being ejected is impossible for an object of this size, then every natural explanation is going to be in serious trouble. We're also getting precise velocity measurements that will tell us exactly how the material is accelerating as it leaves the object. Natural sublimation produces very specific acceleration profiles that we understand well. If the gas is accelerating in ways that don't match thermal processes, that would be another major red flag. Mass calculations are equally important. We need to know exactly how much material is being ejected and compare that to how much mass the object could reasonably lose through natural processes. If it's ejecting more material than it should be able to produce through solar heating, we'll need to find an alternative energy source. In the next few weeks, we are getting that spectroscopy data which will tell us what exactly is in those jets. The data being collected right now will either provide natural explanations for all the anomalies we've observed, or it will force us to seriously consider possibilities that most scientists have never had to evaluate. If the natural explanations prove correct, we'll have discovered new physics, new types of celestial objects, and new mechanisms of how matter behaves in extreme environments. This would represent a major advancement in our scientific understanding and could lead to technological breakthroughs that benefit humanity for generations. If the technological explanation proves correct, we'll be facing the most significant discovery in human history. We would have confirmed that we are not alone in the universe and that other intelligences have achieved capabilities that we can barely imagine. But there's also a third possibility that we need to consider. What if the data comes back inconclusive? What if we can't definitively prove either natural or technological explanations? In that case, the 3 i atlas would remain a mystery that challenges our understanding without providing clear answers. This scenario might actually be the most likely outcome, at least initially. Science rarely provides immediate definitive answers to complex questions. More often, new discoveries raise additional questions and require years or decades of follow-up research to fully understand. If the initial data is inconclusive, it will likely trigger the most intensive scientific investigation of a single object in astronomical history. Every major telescope, every advanced instrument, and every leading research institution would focus on gathering additional data and testing new hypotheses. What we've learned about 3i Atlas represents far more than just another unusual space object. We're looking at 12 separate anomalies that collectively challenge our understanding of physics, probability, 
and our place in the universe. Each anomaly by itself might be explainable through natural processes, but the combination of all 12 creates a pattern that is difficult to dismiss as coincidence. The perfectly straight jets, despite 45 rotations, represent the latest and perhaps most compelling evidence that this object is behaving in ways that our current physics cannot explain. Whether the explanation turns out to be revolutionary new natural processes or evidence of extraterrestrial technology, the answer will fundamentally change how we understand the universe. The spectroscopic data being collected right now will provide the most definitive evidence we've ever had about the true nature of this mysterious visitor. If the measurements show normal comet behavior, then scientists face the challenge of discovering what natural mechanism allows jets to remain straight despite rapid rotation. That would be a major physics breakthrough that could revolutionize our understanding of how matter behaves in space. But if the measurements reveal something that solar heating cannot produce, if they show velocities, compositions, or energy outputs that don't match natural processes, then we might be looking at our first confirmed encounter with technology that was not created by humans. Either way, we're witnessing something that should not be possible according to our current understanding of how the universe works. The answer, whatever it turns out to be, will change everything we thought we knew about what's possible in the cosmos. The implications of this discovery extend far beyond astronomy and physics. We're potentially looking at a moment that will be remembered as a turning point in human understanding of our place in the universe. Whether the 3 I atlas represents new physics or extraterrestrial technology, the answer will influence how we think about science, technology, and our future as a species. I want to know what you think about these 12 anomalies and the competing explanations. Do you believe there's a natural explanation we haven't considered yet, or do you think the evidence is pointing towards something more extraordinary? Which of the four theories seems most plausible to you and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for spending your time with us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you'll be the first to catch our next adventure. Your support truly means the world wishing you a wonderful day ahead.